With just two days left until Taiwan elects its new president, one candidate is looking to ride a wave of young voters' support straight to the island's top job. Sky News' correspondent Stash Butler has the story. Taiwan's third party leader basks in cries from supporters near the capital, already hailing him as the island's next president. With a pivotal election just days away, ex Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe says he can ease tensions with neighboring China. and shatter the two main parties' stranglehold on power. We need a change of government. When parties are in power for too long, they become corrupt. He's a different choice for people who don't want to vote for either of the two main parties. We've had the KMT and DPP in power for so long. I want to give a third party the chance to change things. If Kerwin Jer can win Saturday's race, he'd be the first from outside of Taiwan's two main parties, a seismic event for the island's politics. Kerr finds himself in a race divided by views on neighboring China, which claims Taiwan as its own. The frontrunner, ruling Democratic progressive candidate Lai Qingde, is detested by Beijing, promoting a uniquely Taiwanese identity. China looks more kindly upon Hoyoi of the century-old KMT, which has historically enjoyed better ties with Beijing. Then there's Kerr, a maverick former surgeon heading the Taiwan People's Party he founded just five years ago. He says he can find a middle way. And that fresh approach appeals particularly to younger voters, tired of partisan bickering and drawn to Kerr's straight-talking style. What's the biggest problem for young people in Taiwan? They've lost hope. Young people aren't afraid of hard work. If they know hard work will get them somewhere, they'll work. But if it won't, then what's the point? But that means his chances of success rest on energising his young base while continuing to win over voters from a range of other backgrounds. No easy task. The real impacting factor will be the turnout rate. That leaves Taiwan's wildcard politician and his growing movement hoping come Saturday his supporters' votes at the polls match their voice on the street. Stash Butler in Taipei, Sky News.